Okay, right. Hey guys, welcome back to you ready? We're gonna say it, we're gonna say it. Welcome back to Cindy Vlogs. Oh yes. So let's just jump straight in. Well, first of all, let me ask you guys, how are you guys? How are you all? Um, how's your week been? Or I don't know if when when you're watching this, it could be the beginning of the week, the end or the middle. So how is your week going? And how has your week been? One of those. It's currently Sunday. No, it's Monday. It's Monday. It's Monday. It's Monday. It's about um, coming to seven. It's about 20 to seven, I believe, in the UK over here. Um, yeah, so it's evening time. And I thought I would clock in. I thought I'd clock in with a quick, well, you know what, sugar daddy vlog. Woo! Or sex work vlog. Or, um, yeah. But as you guys know, these vlogs are so much more than that. It's not just about sugar daddy in and all i must say here that um when i say that word when i say sugar daddies or sugar daddy in i don't want it to ever come across as if i'm like objectifying you know the person um to like a bank right i know they have emotions they have feelings they have thoughts um yeah i'm kind of just saying i say that because it's a catchy it's catchy yeah so um Today, yeah, we are um, going to meet a newbie. Yes, yeah, so we're going to meet a newbie. Um, let me just sit on my bed. I'm in my bedroom, yeah. I'm going to sit on my bed. But I'm like standing right in front of the mirror so we can get some good light, yeah. So that this video isn't like blurry and really dim. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, okay, so we've got a newbie in the books. We're just going to go out and see them. And I wanted to vlog, I want to vlog this for you guys today. Um, oh, I'm not really in the mood to vlog <laughs> that much. I'm just like, oh, I can't be bothered. Let me just go along to the day. But I was like, I have to vlog this because it's going to be this dynamic for sure. If I agree to go forward with it after today's meet, this dynamic for sure is going to be different for me. It's going to be like a whole new fucking domain that I have. Uh, it's a dynamic I have never facilitated, entertained or been a part of. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I think... I'm just gonna learn a shit ton. It's just so different. But yeah, I want to talk to you guys about what what I'm what I'm yeah all the details and what I'm basically on about. Um, let me just grab my iPad because I've screenshotted the guy's um his messages. Yeah. Um, if I'm speaking really quick, by the way, like, um, it's because like I'm rushing. Yeah. Um, we you know over here like my time management. I was like I'm not the best with time management. Yeah, it's a work in progress. So it definitely needs some fucking TLC. But you know. Um, yeah, I'm talking really fast because, guys, sorry, no, look, just going off on one, this eye, if you see this fucking eye, my right eye, if you see it, like, do, I don't know, it just, it's just randomly twitching today, it's just like, yeah, it just randomly twitches, like, don't know what's going on there, yeah, it feels really odd, it feels like my eye is drunk or, like, doing a fucking cartwheel or some shit or, like, I don't know, the wave, yeah, okay, keeps on twitching and it just did it a second ago mm. yeah so yeah if i'm talking really fast it's because um basically we're supposed to be meeting the guy at seven and do you know what time it is it's um 18 50 so yeah but i did say seven ish i did say seven ish i didn't say dot and seven so i want to get this intro quickly out of the way so let's read this super quick um his message is so fucking chunky so i'm going to try and read it super 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 quick and then you guys can just yeah get the you know get the info that you need um so he has said thank you for responding um what may i call you um and he answered my question here sort of um saying i like the fact that you come across as friendly and genuine and it sounds like you'd be a lot of fun to hang out with Woo! confident thanks <laughs> Who doesn't like a nice ego boost? <laughs> um, yeah. Um, I like the fact that you mentioned you're open-minded. Uh, more on that below. And if I may be indelicate for a second, you are beautiful and tall and totally my type. Oh my God, that's so sweet. Thank you. Fucking hell. Thanks. I appreciate that. That was really sweet. Um, right. So now to let you know a little bit about me, I'm currently a single city professional who probably works too long hours and join this site to have some more fun in a downtime that I do get, right? To be upfront, whilst I'm not looking for anything unt uh, untoward... Un un I don't know if I'm saying that right. Or no, no, I don't, yeah, can't say that word. Don't know what the fuck it means. So I have to Google it, yeah? And I can't say it either. So yeah, all right, there, there goes that word. But yeah, we learn a new word. <laughs> Great. Um, I'm ideally looking for a dynamic, dynamic where the lady is a goddess. Okay, clue, hint, hint, hint. He used the word goddess. He used the word goddess. Whoa! Hint, 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 guys, yeah. Um... <clears throat> Um, that, right, so where the lady is a goddess and a top, a top a pedestal. I don't know what the fuck that means, but I'm, I assume that 
you know, it means to like place me on a pedestal. Now, when I read this, I was like, fuck, I'm, I will definitely struggle with that because guys, I am the sort of person where I do not give a fuck if you're the queen of England or just like a, I don't know, I can't think of like a like a cleaner or or a nurse or a bus driver you know just an ordinary person the queen is also pretty she's a she's human too yeah like i don't give a fuck if you're the queen of england or a bus driver i will treat you all the fucking same you'll get the same amount of respect from me i don't give you more respect because you're on this you're at the top of this you know imaginary hierarchy that society likes to create yeah and i'm also not the type like another example i'm not a type to like idolize or you know look up to like celebrities and think like oh my god worship the ground they walk walk on like i'm just that just is not me it's just not me like i literally everyone gets the same respect yeah um, you know, no matter how much privilege you have and stuff like that, I literally, literally don't give a fuck. Like, it doesn't impress me. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, he wants, to, it sounds like he wants to place me on a pedestal. So I might struggle with that because, oh, when anyone does that to me, you know, okay, it's fine to look up to someone, but where, when you, when you do it in a way where like you're diminishing your worth and it's, it's like, uh, yeah, you look up to this person and it's like, oh my God, like they're God's gift. Like they are or everything. And uh, you, you are not, you know, that everything. It's just, I can't deal with that. I can't deal with it. I just think we're we're all we're all wonderful, literally. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, so I'm looking for a goddess and to be worshipped by her male companion. Yeah. So hint, hint, clue, clue, clue. There, guys, the type of dynamic he's referring to. Um, I'm not submissive and per and perfectly presentable. Um, I don't know what that means, but okay. Um, in public, um, though I am submissive in private and in messages, right? So he's almost, it's like a dom sub kind of thing. And I, initially when I read this, my first reaction was like, oh fuck, how dom does he want me to be? How dom? Because, uh, yeah, I don't know. You know, if you want, just the dynamics where you like humiliate someone or like spit on them. Like I know some people totally get get off on that. And I'm like, if that is, you know, you go, you fucking go. If that's how you like execute and embrace, you know, no, what's the word? Like, oh, like just are uh, in your sexuality or makes you feel most connected to your sexuality. I'm fucking here for it. But it's just not me. It's not me. I, I can never like slap someone and get like some sort of satisfaction from that. Like, I've just feel bad. <laughs> but anyway, okay. He goes on to explain how Dom he wants me to be. Right. So um i am not seeking an online arrangement i'm all about meeting in, up in person and whining and dining and entertaining my goddess and serving her in private if this is a dynamic which is a is, is it which is of potential interest um to you do let me know many thanks right so then i kind of said um i'll pop my response here you guys can read it super super quick or you can pause yeah pause here so you guys can read and then so we can now yeah let's, i want to just jump to his response because i'm running out of time and he's called me an uber and it's going to be here any fucking second right uh, but essentially i just asked about money um well <laughs> i might as well just fucking read it but yeah in my message here i'll pop it in. i basically just asked about money guys and i asked about you know how dominant does he want me to be so now, he goes on to say, um, hi, Cindy, many thanks for your response. It's lovely you have taken a genuine interest in what I'm ideally seeking. No worries that it's, it's no, 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 no worries that it's all new to you. I deliberately avoid the profiles of the ladies saying she is a dominant and looking for a sub as I've been burnt by experiences in the past, which I can tell you about as they're quite colourful stories. Fucking hell, I want to hear, I want to hear. Um, we need to remember to ask him when we meet him today, yeah? So I can feedback to you guys about these colourful stories. Um, I am not into whips, chains or funny clothes and I certainly do not want to be degraded or humiliated. Um, and my preference is much more gentle than that. Okay, so this is what I thought when I was reading. I was like, okay, maybe I might actually be able to, I might be able to entertain this, guys, yeah. So by way of an example a typical date in an established dynamic would be going out for dinner where i would then dine and dine and entertain my goddess then after dinner we would retire somewhere private where the dynamic would involve things like serving my goddess champagne okay chocolates on and chocolates on my knees kissing her foot or her feet giving her a massage fucking hell i won't turn down a massage thank you um being her footstool <laughs> Sorry, I just can't imagine it. I can't imagine it. Okay, yeah. But you know what? He likes that. He likes it, guys. So, yeah. Yeah, okay. I am not looking for any sexual activity, right? And we would remain regularly clothed. Um, the dynamic for me is that my goddess is a, is a Cleopatra type of figure and I, her palace slave, to serve and worship her. Okay, guys, so I don't know what you what you guys are thinking, but I mean, like, it doesn't sound bad. I don't have to, like, 
I don't have to like hit him or anything. I literally just have to be like a goddess, you know, pretty little goddess. And I get a massage, get my feet like tended to. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't sound awful, does it? Um, I would just much rather have sex. I won't lie to you guys. But this is a different, this is really different. So maybe I could learn something. Um, and I'm, I've always been really intrigued. I mean, I really want to find out like what, how, what does this do for you? Like, you know, what does it do for you? Why this? You know? And not just the typical sex. Like, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued because it's different. And I like difference. Like, mm. So, um, what else has he said? In terms of what I'm looking for in a lady, I'm looking for someone who's intelligent, confident, likes to laugh, and mentioned. And I mentioned is kind and friendly to her submissive. I'm certainly not looking for a dominatrix or someone who is cold, harsh, mean, or who would make me feel worthless or used. Um, great. Great. I can actually do this. Maybe I can actually do that because that's something I wouldn't be able to do. I wouldn't be able to be cold, harsh, mean. I just, that's just, I wouldn't, no matter how much, how much money you offered me, it would just make me feel like very fucking uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, and yes, I absolutely understand the goddess needs mutual benefit from the arrangement too. So I would pay 100 for a simple dinner and drinks, and which is what we're doing today, right? Um, whilst I would pay 250 plus buy my goddess some new shoes which um she may let me polish wow wow i'm just not used to that oh my god um do let me know if that is of appeal to you and of course any other questions you may have yeah so um mm. and i'll pop another one of his, his replies here where he's basically just asking if he can call me goddess yeah um but he, do you know what he sounds like uh he does sound like he sounds like really nice and kind. Um, yeah, I don't know what you guys think. What do you guys think? Mm. I'm definitely intrigued, yeah. Um, I don't know if it'll be easy money, that's the thing, because it might just be really, really challenging for me. Like, for me right now, I'm at a stage where we've met so many people um, where I'm just like, the sex isn't like, uh, isn't like, it's just easier to have sex, you know, because I've built my confidence. So generally, I am just like so much more sexually confident now because we've met a few people, as you guys know, um, you know, so like, it's just easier for me to have sex. So this might even, it, it's a lot of people might be like, oh my God, you, you don't have to have like sex or anything. Like, that's so much more easier. But for me, it's like, I don't know how I'm going to feel about having someone, a human being my fucking footstool. Like, I don't know. <laughs> it might just be a little bit like, oh, fuck. But yeah, I'm definitely intrigued. So we're going to go along to the date. Um, he's in Reading today. So it's like very last minute, very spontaneous. Um, yeah, but I thought, fuck it, why not? Let's go. So we're going to meet him at a hotel. Yeah, at a hotel. Um, and we're just going to go for, yeah, have a few drinks and stuff and just get to know each other a little bit. Um, I've got so many questions to ask him. I'm definitely going to ask him about some of these colourful stories. And I'm also going to ask him what's like, why this dynamic? What does it do for him? What kind of a spark does it light up in him? Um, yeah, so, and I also, it'd be a good way to, I just want to see if we click how is he like in person? Um, yeah, but I'm swaying more towards, I'm definitely going to give it a go. I'm going to give it a go. Yeah, I'm going to give it a go. Because you guys know, yeah, I like challenge. I like challenge. And I like um, stepping out of my comfort zone. Yeah. And I want to see what I can learn. <laughs> yeah. But, okay. Let me just um, quickly see, because um, I think he's called me an Uber. Yeah. He wants to get me an Uber um, from my house to the hotel. So let me see what he said. And I'll, I'll speak to you guys after I've messaged okay. him. Okay, guys. So, I've just left the house. Um, we tried to get me an Uber, but there are no bloody Ubers in Reading. Yeah, and then he was like, oh, let me just call you a taxi. And I was like, oh, fuck it, let me just get the bus. You know, I'm a bus girl. <laughs> let me just get the bus. I'll get the bus because it's faster. Faster for me to get the bus, get into town, than for him, faster to wait around, call a taxi, wait around. You know, it's just faster. Um, yeah, so. Mm. Um, okay, so I have no makeup on. Okay, we've got no makeup on, so it's just gonna get me like this. Um, mm. but the word goddess does like insinuate that you get a goddess that looks like a an actual <laughs> an actual goddess. Not that I don't look like a goddess, but I mean I could look better. <laughs> you know, I have had, I have had better days. Uh, yeah. Um uh, so but I haven't got any makeup on. Um and my outfit, I mean it's not the best either. It's not very goddess like, but yeah, the shorts are a bit of me. I mean I love my Bermudas, but I was gonna change the top guys. I haven't got a bra on. The top is a little bit, I don't know, not very date like, but um fuck it. I couldn't be bothered to change, yeah. So just got a basic basic top on and then my Bermudas, right? 
Yeah, this is what I'm wearing, which is what I was wearing earlier. I've been wearing it for the whole day. Yeah, but I feel like I'm just going to see him now. It's going to be a quick one hour meet and greet, see how we get on. Um, 400. And then we'll see if we want to take, well, I'll, I will see if I want to take it any further. And he will also see it because he might not like me in person. Um, it's very rare though. <laughs> is that big headed? <laughs> okay. Um, I keep on turning this way because the light is much better this way, you know? Um, but okay, right. Um, yeah. We're just gonna go along to it. Um, I just wanna, main questions or main main things I'm gonna be looking out for is to see how we vibe in person, what the dynamic is like, if I like him as a person. I think I will do, because he sounds like just really polite and friendly and just like a gent, um, yeah. And who doesn't wanna get a nice massage for 250? Like, it just sounds like he's gonna be at my service. Like, that's, that's, that's really good. Um, but I mean, like, 250 is not amazing still. Like, I don't know, it depends. It depends how much of my time is going to be taken up during these meets. I need to try and establish that as well. Like, you know, if, if it's going to be a good, like, six hour meet for 250, I'm going to be like, fuck it. It's not, no, 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 I want more money. Because it's about my time here. It's not, it's not about what I give. So let's say if someone was offering, like, 300 pounds, right, for, for, uh, I don't know, chit chat, all we do is talk over a dinner table, 300 pounds for like a four or five hour date. I'd be like, no, fuck, fuck no, fuck no, fuck no. Whereas if someone was offering like the same amount for one hour, a one hour fuck sesh, I'd much rather go for that. Yeah. And then also, um, I want to see what else he wants, what else he wants me to do. You know, I want some more examples because I cannot be really, really dominant. Like, yeah. I want some more examples of what might be required of me during these meets, you know? I just, uh, <laughs> I, just I can't imagine him being my footstool. Like, how, how does that work? Okay, obviously he gets on all fours and then uh, my feet go over him, but then what do we do? Do we, do I, do I talk? Do we talk? <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Um, but, yeah, bus stop that way, you guys know. You guys know the drill. If you're if you're a newbie here, we typically like stop right here and we just like talk, like on this road. We just always talk before I get on the bus. Yeah, but it'll just be about 10, 10, five to ten minute bus ride to the hotel. Um, yeah, I don't know when, when I'm gonna see you next. I'll, I'll try and go for a toilet break like during it, during the date. But I feel like it's just gonna be a quick hi and bye. So I might not even have enough time to pop to the toilet. But I'll try to pop to the toilet just so I can talk to you guys. Yeah, in the update you whilst we're on the date yeah um if not i'll see you guys after yeah i'll see you guys after yeah i hope i don't make him fucking run with my skin the state of my skin right now yeah fuck mm -hmm. yeah okay mm. yeah that's it guys um i'm gonna see you in in a bit <laughs> yeah guys hey quick toilet break managed to sneak out of the toilet <laughs> So we're nearly about two hours in. Just come for a quick pee break. Um, fucking hell, alcohol's making me want to pee. Said I wasn't going to drink, but here I am fucking having, es is it espresso martinis? I had about three for fuck's sake. I think it's going to be my favorite drink going forward. It tastes so fucking amazing. Oh my God, I could down six of those easily. Um, mm, so date is going well so far. Oh my God, he's so lovely. He's so, so lovely guys. I'm really enjoying myself, um, yeah. But I, I don't want to give you guys too much. I want you guys to stick around and wait. <laughs> um, yeah, but I mean, so far, going really well. We've had some delicious food. It's been so nice. It's been really good. I think we're probably going to start wrapping up now. It's coming to 10 o'clock. I've got a really early start tomorrow. So is he. Probably going to sort of hint to him that maybe it's home time now. I will see you guys probably tomorrow morning um, or afternoon and clock in and then we can talk a little bit more. I'm going to head back out now. Don't want him to think I've sort of walked out on him because I grabbed my handbag on phone and I was thinking, as I was walking off, I was thinking, oh, fuck, what if he thinks I'm going to run out of the door and not return? Because <laughs> it's a little bit awkward to take your like phone and handbag. Handbag, fair enough, because I'm going to be going to put in a tampon. Yeah, but phone is a little bit like, oh, that's sketchy. Um, yeah, but let me go and return to him so he doesn't think I've fucking ran off. Yeah. Um, this eye keeps on twitching as well. It's been twitching on the day as he's talking to him, and I'm like, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> it's fucking doing a wave. It keeps on doing a wave. I behave. Mm. Anyway, okay. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm clocking back in. Hello. So it's the next day. Um, <laughs> I got in last night and I was so shattered. I literally jumped in the shower, straight in the shower, and I went to fucking bed. 
Um, but tell you what, guys, I did not fucking sleep well. And I knew it wasn't a good idea, guys. I knew it wasn't a good idea. Uh, so there was, there was a point in a date, right, where uh, the waiter came over and he was like, what would the lady like to drink? And I... I knew I didn't want alcohol, but I didn't think about what... I was like, oh, can I have water? And then the, the waiter and the guy just stared at me, the guy I was on a date with. They were both like, huh, water? And I was like, I'm actually a water girl. I'm fine with water. Um, but then I almost not felt... I didn't feel pressured. Um, oh, I suppose maybe I fell for the peer pressure. The very minimal peer pressure that was present. Uh, yeah, they both kind of just said, you can't just have water. And I didn't know what else to say. I should have said tea. But uh, we just got fucking coffee martinis, yeah. And I've never, never had a coffee martini before, guys. Um, yeah. So I didn't sleep that well. It wasn't a good idea. What I'm trying to get across here wasn't a good idea <laughs> to have a coffee martini because like, my I was tired, but my brain, I was just awake. Like, I was awake, so I really struggled to sleep last night. Um, but anyway, right, let me quickly come in for you guys, tell you the juice, tell you how the date was, um yeah tell you what i think about the guy if i'm gonna go forward with like a the sort of sort of arrangement he wants you know where there's like no sexual activity and he just literally worships me he gets to worship me that's like the dynamic um yeah so anyway i walked up the lovely red carpet yeah guys can you guys see that over there this is where we're going can you guys see the rosette am i saying that right yeah we're going in there it's got a nice red carpet for me. Oh my god, yeah! <laughs> nice, lovely red carpet. Look at that, eh? Oh, definitely more on the fancier side. Yeah, okay, inside we go. Walk up the red carpet. Oh yes, celebrity feels. Okay, going in. And um, I made my way to the restu, restu, that word. You guys know I can't say that word. So the rest, I'm gonna, let, let me attempt. Restu, restaurant, restaurant. I can't say it. Yeah. The Finnish accent makes an appearance. It's hard to say it. Um, Yeah. Restu, restaurant. It's the second part. Rant, rant. Restaurant. We say, we use like, this is how we pronounce, like pronounce our R's in Finland. We pronounce them like with an R, you know, like that. So, hard to say the word restaurant okay oh i said it you'll say it oh okay anyway yeah so i made my way downstairs to the yeah and then he was sat there and then he got up and he just sort of hugged me he looked like his picture to be fair didn't get there was no catfish there wasn't a catfishy moment um i was a little bit concerned about my, me because obviously my skin and like i didn't look my best didn't have the best outfit on so i was thinking oh fuck i might he might get he might get this might be a bit catfishy yet you know not completely catfishy i didn't look like me but you know the pictures that are up on my profile, I'll put some here. I mean, that is, I've got makeup on, you know, and I, I yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't wearing any makeup, but uh, the first thing he said to me, he was like, oh, you look so stunning. Yeah, you're stunning. I was like, okay, thanks. <laughs> I'll take the compliment, but it doesn't land. It doesn't land right now. I think I can look better, but yeah, you know. Um, but yeah, so we, yeah. Uh, yeah, greeted me, sat downstairs, and instantly as I walked in, so like the the, the hotel itself, I knew it was going to be fancy. So like, but the restaurant was even like more fancier, guys. Like it was it was quiet, which it was kind of good in a way. Um, I'm glad it wasn't really busy because it would have been full of like, I don't know, the vibe there isn't like you can't be like crazy and vibrant in that restaurant. It was like really not even chilled, just really like proper, proper and posh and fancy. Yeah, uh, but yeah, so th they, there were only three of us three like um three like couples in the restaurant including me and him right um yeah but i say it was fancy because oh my god so when it came to ordering food guys there was a waiter and then there was a person who would actually just read out what we ordered right and i've never i've never ever ever experienced anything like that before yes yeah, so the waiter would come over with our food right and then we both just kind of like stared at the person who was like reading out what we ordered and i was just like oh, okay yeah nice and then we'd both look at the food and then look at him again. Like, oh, yes, okay, this is what we ordered. Thank you so much. <laughs> it was just so fancy. Like, I've never experienced anything like that. Has anyone seen, like, the movie Pretty Woman? I was I was, I was telling the guy, I was like, I feel like I'm the girl. I feel like I'm the, the, the actress from Pretty Woman. Because, like, there were like, multiple forks and knives and spoons. And I was like, what the fuck? So, in my household, we're just used to having one. One size of a spoon and a fork and a knife. But, like, there were, like, multiple sizes of a fork and a knife and a spoon. I was like, which one do we fucking use? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so, 
Um, food wise, okay, oh my god, guys, he was just ordering me so much food. Like I wasn't even that hungry, but I was like, fuck it, you know what? Let me just let's just eat, man. Um the, the, I this is the first time I had oysters. Oh, it was so much fun. Like he was showing me how to eat them. Oh my god, it was they were delicious, like <laughs> Delicious, delicious. Um, yeah. And what did I get? I can't remember. I got like, uh, did I get, did I get a steak? No, I didn't get a steak. Uh, I got something. What did I get? Oh, did I get, I think I got lamb? No, duck. I think I might have got duck. Duck and like sweet potatoes and something. I don't know. And he got chicken. Yeah. And then we just got like multiple drinks, guys. Like he was just he was just ordering um, coffee martinis and I think we had about four each. And I was like, fucking hell, this is not a good idea. Like I'm trying to lean off the alcohol. And plus, coffee ain't got no fucking place in my life. Like fucking what, 8 to 8 p.m.? Oh my God, I did not sleep well because of that. Yeah. But anyway, so the food came. We were just there eating and talking. He was like really, really nice. Oh my God. Like I actually really enjoyed the conversation. He was like really soft. Um really like he seemed really empathetic and really compassionate um yeah and just like really warm as well and i felt really comfortable and at ease in his presence um yeah anyway so let me tell you about these colorful stories right so he mentioned he talked he said to me about yeah he really like, oh, sorry i can't speak english i can't speak english he was saying there was a date with like a woman um he met off the site that i also use and he was saying it was the worst day of his life because she just absolutely fucking humiliated him yeah he was like to be fair it was my fault because on her profile we did sort of say like she likes to be like a queen and treated like a queen and you know she wants to be worshipped like so she was to the extreme of the dynamic that he wants and he doesn't quite like the extreme where you know he, he feels as if he's degraded or someone's like spitting on him so they went to like a, a fancy restaurant or whatever and she literally barely spoke to him and like she made him like order his fo her food yeah he just said it was like a really really awful day um yeah like she made him like i think feed him feed her um <laughs> like it was just it was just really really worshipy like to the extreme yeah and he, he kind of said yeah from that experience he learned that he doesn't like the extreme dynamic um yeah and then i also i wanted i wanted more examples of what would be required of me guys right so he was saying things like you know i just get to basically kiss your feet so as soon as we'd walk into like a hotel room right next time we meet he just um he just bow down like he'd literally just bow down and kiss my feet that was that would be the first thing he would do and i was trying to find out like so the whole foot pedestal thing i was like okay that might make me feel a little bit uncomfortable but like i'm willing to give it a try if that's what gets you going you know and i I was just curious to know like so what like do we talk whilst my feet are up on you you know like literally him being here like my foot pedestal and then my feet over him it's like what like that's just you know like do we talk do, do, can i talk to you like what, how does that work and he was like yeah so you know i'll get on all fours you place your um feet over me um, over my back and then we just talk casually like normally you know and at times what i would want you to do i would just kind of want you to like bring your foot over to my mouth so move your leg um, and bring it over to my head and i just wanna i wanna kiss and like kiss your feet you know and i mean sound awful does it guys like it just I, i'm definitely not used to it i won't lie i'm not used to it i've never ever ever been in such a fucking dynamic or have to, you know been placed in such a situation but i'm willing to give it a go right and some other things he was saying so like when he gets on the ground and he kisses my feet right and i'm like standing up right he was saying that's like the best way to like convey what this dynamic is all about like it's the best it's the best symbol the strongest symbol you could possibly have you know where he is on the ground like on his knees and he's kissing my feet and i'm standing up right um and in that moment i kind of have to say like good boy or something yeah i think he said yeah if you could just say like good boy um well done or something like that oh <laughs> I was a bit like fuck man yeah so i have to say that to him like good boy or like no good slave yeah that's what he said you, you either say good boy or good slave yeah so i have to say stuff like that to him um and then it all oh, got, got to the shoe thing so basically he wants to buy me a pair of um he wants to buy me a pair of shoes yeah and he wants to just lick them so essentially i have to wear them and he just licks them and he, he was saying oh i'm quite squeamish and stuff so they have to be a new pair you know they can't be like an old pair and stuff because he won't lick them so he was saying like yeah i want to buy you a pair i want you to put them on and i want to lick them yeah so that's also going to be required of me um yeah oh my god i was so fascinated i was so fascinated and i i asked him i was like so what does this like what does it do for you you know it's just curious and intrigued um yeah like what does it do for you um and i was kind of applauding him i was like you know what i have like i almost have like yeah i have 
have respect for you already because the typical script is like, you know, you have the guy who's masculine and the woman who's feminine and we, all of us, just the, major, the majority of us, not all of us, mm, but the majority of us just rewrite the script, right? About how to do sex and how our sexual, you know, we rewrite the script about how we should execute our sexuality. You know, the woman is feminine and whatever that might come along with and the man is masculine and whatever that might come along with, right? But I was, I was applauding him and saying, oh, do you know, I'm in awe the fact that you're just kind of going against the status quo and in fact, you're just, you're being led by what, what fills you up and what recharges you and what makes your sexuality spark. Um, so I was applauding him, yeah, for going against like the status quo and the script that a majority of us are conditioned to abide by. Um, yeah, but I was asking him anyway, so what, what, is, what does this dynamic do for you? Why this? And he was, he's basically like a, a director of a company or something like that. And he was saying how, you know, in that position, a lot of the time he has to step into like a leadership role. He was saying with this dynamic, I can, I, I get a break from that. It's quite nice to like, you know, take a break and just sort of, uh, just worship you, you know, and almost step into my, is that feminine, you know? But it was weird because it didn't feel like as if the dynamic would be, I don't know if it's feminine the right word. I don't know if he would be executing his femininity in that dynamic and I would be more so the masculine one. Um, because there was a point where, oh, this, I have to tell you guys this. So like, he was like, oh mate, he called me goddess as well. He referred to me as goddess throughout the whole interaction. Um, but he was like, oh goddess, may I kiss your hand? Is that okay? Like he literally, literally, literally looked at me like this guy, like with puppy dog eyes, yeah? He was like, goddess, may I, may I uh, kiss your hand? Yeah, and then he grabbed my hand, right? Like this, and then he kissed me like this, like he kissed me like this. <laughs> she's looking at me like that with puppy dog eyes kissing my hand right and i just i was just like wow and it almost felt like it was it didn't feel extremely feminine it felt quite masculine as he was doing it but like he was really soft and feminine like i, I don't know how to explain it like the energy was quite masculine and direct but the way in he, the way in which he did it and executed it was quite feminine yeah so anyway so I think I'm gonna go along with it, guys. I'm gonna go along with it. I just wanna, I'm intrigued. I'm really fucking intrigued. I wanna see what I can learn about myself in that dynamic, yeah? Because typically also what I've come to learn about myself, I have struggled to allow people to give to me. There have been times where it is a struggle for me to receive and to surrender, you know, and to uh, be in my complete feminine energy, right? Not that I don't struggle with it completely, but there are times when I've been like, oh, okay. Yeah, so I think this will be, this will encourage me to do that a little bit more, like to surrender and to allow someone to give to you, like a massages, you know, and just like to treat me. So those are some scenarios that I'm going to be probably placed in as we meet. Um, a few other things, like he was asking me, oh, has anyone ever bathed you? You know, so he probably would want to bathe me, literally like bathe me. Yeah, um, I'm all down for the massage. Like if you want to massage me, if I can go, go, go for it. Yeah, I'm um, so down for that. That would be nice, I think. Yeah, but yeah, fucking interesting dynamic. And you know, like I'm so here for his, like, I'm in awe of his like, I don't know, like courage almost, you know? Um, yeah, that was it. Like a really good date, yeah. Enjoyed myself for like the two hours, good conversation. Um, yeah, he really looked after me food wise. Like he was like, kept on asking me like, do you want anything else? Do you want any more drinks and stuff? Um, yeah, I think I need to figure out that because I'm, I'm on a cut out alcohol like for a good few months. I mean, I've been attempting to do it for a good year and I've been doing pretty well, but um, there's a lot of inflammation in my body and I'm just, if I continue drinking alcohol or like eating gluten or eating lots of processed foods and sugar, like my, you know, having lots of sugar in my diet, it's just going to add more fuel to this fire and this fire is called inflammation and ill health. You know, I'm trying to get to like an optimal state of health. Um, so I need to like cut out, I need to cut out alcohol for a good while. Yeah. And also go to bed on time, like 10 o'clock, you know, and no devices, I need to get into the habit of doing that. Um, that was another issue. Like he wants to meet quite late. That's the thing for me. Like it's, it's, we're, we're going to September now. And I said to myself from September going, like, I'm going to be so fucking rigid, like with my bound, like boundaries are not being shifted in terms of my health, you know, bed by 10 PM, no devices by 8 PM. Like trying to set, you know, my nighttime routine starts from like 8 p.m right good food good nutrition good exercise and like nothing can come in the way of that so i i'm, I'm a bit concerned like a bit like oh i don't know how this is going to work because he does want to like meet quite late on in the evening and especially on the weekends so he was saying like meet around 6 p.m and finish at around like 1 a.m it's not going to happen it, it won't be able to happen so we're going to have to see how we can if if we're if he's flexible maybe to like i don't know negotiate on that yeah 
But um, yeah, anyway, like I was saying, good day. Really enjoyed myself. Good food. Um, yeah, and he paid me here. I want to show you guys. Um, he gave he gave me an envelope as soon as I walked in. And he was just like slid it on the table. And he was like, yeah, here's your money. But you know what? It's the cutest thing ever. Bless him. Like, okay, no one's ever given money to me like this. Typically, it's just been like here, cash in hand, right? Or it's been like a bank transfer, which I much prefer, right? But he gave it to me in. He gave me the money in a fucking cute little card. Can you imagine? Bless with a love heart on it guys yeah um and then we open and then the money is just money a hundred in here right yeah <laughs> oh, bless him how sweet is that yeah and um oh as the date started to wrap up right he escorted me outside he called me an uber back home um and like he hugged me he was like and he asked to kiss my hand again and he just hugged me like you know in such a worshipy way and he was like okay see you next time goddess 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 mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes i won't lie to you guys i am gonna it, i will feel uncomfortable and i did say to him very clearly that you know this is very new to me so like if you want someone who's like a, a pro at this sort of a dynamic where you know the the goddess is like used to this and she likes being worshipped then i'm not going to be your girl i think you just appreciate the honesty to be honest and he was like yeah i kind of like the fact that you're new into this and stuff and yeah i don't really want to I don't want someone who's going to take the goddess role too serious where, you know, we end up degrading him or something like that, right? Um, yeah. So I, I said to him, yeah, I will be nervous. And when I do, I will be fucking nervous, like, at the beginning. And I was also saying to him, like, do you want, like, I don't, will I have to leave? Like, I, I won't know what to do. I literally won't know what to do. Like, when you, you know, like, to give you orders, like, kiss my hand now or go go sit and be my table. You know, I just, I don't, I, I would struggle with that, I think. So he was saying, yeah, don't worry, like, I would just kind of slowly lead. Yeah. Um, so we agreed we're going to meet on Saturday. Yeah, same week. Yeah, so end of the week, we're going to meet, which is in a couple of days. Um, he's going to pay me 250 I think we're going to meet around um, six-ish and wrap up around 10-ish. 10, um, yeah, that's a bit too late for me. But you know what, we'll go with the first meet and then see how it goes. Um, we're going to meet in a hotel. So typically, it's always going to be like dinner first and then we go up to the hotel room. That's 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 the meet. And um, sex, let me cover that really quickly. He said, so there has to be, that he doesn't want any sexual activity unless if I want it, you know? Yeah, so he doesn't expect any sex. Um, yeah. But knowing me, I'm a horny little bitch and if I connect with someone, I'm going to be like, yeah, let's lick the clit <laughs> and stick it in and let's have sex, yeah. Um, especially if you're giving me a massage. Oh my God. Talk about fucking arousing a female. I'm going to be absolutely aroused, you know, if you're doing that for a fucking good few minutes. Yeah. Um, but anyway, sex won't be expected. It's not on the table. Um, unless if I want it. Yeah. So essentially, I'm getting paid 2 50 to go and have some really nice food and then to be worshipped. Yeah. So that's the deal we've got ourselves here. Uh, mm, and I'll let you guys know how it goes. I'll vlog our first meet. Um, he's he was asking about my shoe size. He's texted me. Um, I also mentioned to him on the date that I'm quite picky with heels. Like, I'm a really picky shopper. And I was saying to him, like, I don't want you to buy me heels. And they're just, like, stuck. I, I'm, I'm very much into minimalism. And I don't like clothes or clutter. You know, I don't like stuff that I don't wear. So I was kind of telling him, like, I don't want you to buy me heels and me not wear them or not like them. So we were kind of, like, I was showing him a few pictures. or like, giving him hints about, like, some heels that I like um yeah and he was like oh i like a good challenge and i was like yeah good good all right yeah because i'm not easily pleased yeah that's why you typically don't buy me clothes don't don't do it yeah but fuck we'll see how it goes i'm gonna see you guys in the next vlog um which will be with this guy because i'm not seeing anyone else this week apart from him um yeah so Mm, thank you for tuning in yeah like always love you guys for tuning in if you've got this far um and thank you to anyone who's commenting on my videos and like supporting me and showing any fucking love i'm absolutely here for it i love it i love it and i love you guys um it uplifts me so much like it's just always nice um when your fellow humans uh just uh they get you you know they get you yeah i love it <laughs> i will see you guys in the next vlog um yeah thank you for tuning in toodles